Private Patrick McHale won the highest award for gallantry at the Siege of Lucknow during the Indian Mutiny in 1858. He died at Shorncliffe Barracks a few years later and was duly buried in the military cemetery. But during World War II, his gravestone was damaged and now a group of former servicemen who worry about the way heroes' memorials are falling into disrepair have done something about it. Robin Gibson watched it all for tonight's special report. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them. A minute's silence for one of their own, even though he died in the 1800s. Former and present servicemen of the Royal Regiment of Fusiliers pause for thought over the grave of a soldier who won the Victoria Cross during the reign of the Queen who created it. Everybody gets taught from quite early on about uh, regimental history um, and the Victoria Cross winners are uh, quite key within that regimental history. Um, I mean, um, Private Mahel, one of 55 um, Victoria Cross winners. The Indian Mutiny is remembered as a cruel chapter of British colonial history. But the bravery of Private Patrick Mahel, the Irishman who challenged cannon fire in 1858 is a matter of record. We know from his citation that he stormed, the, the, one of the first fusiliers to storm the guns uh, from the rebels, as they were called the mutineers, in Kaurpur uh, in October. And then the following December, he did another similar sort of gallant act and he sort of led from the front. This rededication has come about largely because of ex-servicemen for whom this has become a bit of a cause. Because this is how the grave looked until a few months ago. You can imagine the reaction. Anger, annoyance, um, upset that, that these gravestones should be in such a, such a state when you know, the man was, you know, was awarded a Victoria Cross. It's bigger than, um, than just a Victoria Cross, isn't it? it it's, it's a life and it's, you put it in the context of the history and it must have been a very tough, hard, hard life, hard time. And so all of that comes to your mind when you when you are at a service like we've just had. A quiet, sensitive undertaking that goes on. They hope to clean up the graves of around 30 more Victoria Cross winners in Kent alone. Something of a debt of honour. Robin Gibson, BBC Southeast Today, Shorncliffe Military Cemetery.